hello everybody welcome back to ingers pink world welcome back to the channel you guys how is everybody doing i hope everybody is doing well let me go ahead and turn this fan on because i am hot y'all i have all these lights on in here um so that you guys can see me okay hopefully you can still hear me with this fan going on Anyway, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here to do a face-to-face -face with you this week. Um, I think I missed last week doing a face-to-face. -face. I've been trying to shoot out a whole bunch of different videos just to let you know I'm still here on the planet. <laughs> um, but um, I have been busy crafting and doing some things to occupy my time. And, you know, I got some exciting content, things, content and things coming up for you guys. Um, and I'm not going to spill the beans, um, but I hope everybody is doing well. Um, if you're back out in the workforce, I hope you're doing well. If you're working from home, I hope you are doing well. I hope everybody's healthy. And your families are healthy. I myself am okay. My family is doing well. I did wake up with a headache this morning. You guys, it was about three o'clock this morning. I'll say, and my head was just it was killing me so I took some medication and I laid back down and um, I think my mom came in and woke me up around eight something this morning she's getting ready to go to the doctor she wanted to let me know she was going out so um but it was gone when by the time I woke up so I guess my medication had kicked in and I don't know it was just a bad one but you know it comes with the territory of what I deal with um, but anyway you guys so I have been doing some crafting and um, I did a little, I went to, I had to go to Michael's today because I use an awful lot of hot glue, you guys. And I bought, there's 40 hot glue sticks in this one. And I bought two of them so that I can have 80. And I promise you, I, I will go through these. Um, and right now, Michael's is having some kind of little sale because it's not a big one. But they're having some kind of sale. I think is 20% off of each regular priced item. And then I bought some glitters because um, their glitter was buy one, get one half off. And these were $3.99. So roughly $2 each, you know. So I did that because since I've been doing a lot of crafting, I've been using, doing a lot of things. Um and um i do have some things that i'm going to show you but i'm not really finished with them yet um i will show you one little thing though this little situation i'm i'm not sure about it it okay so i was in the process of decorating it it didn't really come out the way i wanted it to and i still need to put some decorations up here at the top to cover up my staples but I was looking at a YouTube video the other day and this lady was making, they're called chip bags. And I guess they're supposed to resemble like potato chip bags. And you put graffiti, I mean graffiti, you put sequins and stuff in there. And I, I did a bow and put inside mine and I decorated the outside with a bow. It's, it's just a, what I call a template, which is just an, a sample of what I'm going to do. So yeah, that, that was that. Yeah. <laughs> So that was just practice. Um, and um, I got a couple of uh, birthdays and things coming up. So I've been working on some more projects for that. And that's about it um, as far as what I've been doing. I have been working on a lot of videos for you guys. And I hope you guys have been able to tune in and see some of them. Um, I think my last video, I don't know, I've been trying to spit a spit them out as fast as I can you guys to try to keep you up to you know keep content coming to you but I think the last couple of ones I did um, a marshmallow video I did a oatmeal um, brulee video which is really cool you guys if you've never had creme brulee try it the next time you go to a restaurant creme brulee is delicious it's kind of like a vanilla custard and then they burn sugar on top so that it's a hard crispy coating of sugar on top like a kind of like what's on a candy apple but on the top of the vanilla pudding and it is delicious it's one of my favorite um desserts but anyway they have it now where they're making it with oatmeal and you you make your oatmeal and then you put the the i guess the vanilla cream on top and the, the sugar on top 
and I have not tried it yet, but I'm going to try it because I love oatmeal and I love creme brulee, so I probably will like them both. Um, but that was one of the videos that I did for you guys, and I also, um, what else did I do? I did that one, and I did another wedding uh, cake video, and then I also released a do's and don'ts of how to plan a wedding. So there's a couple of new videos that I've, I've, I've posted for you guys. Um, also, I've been trying to keep you up to date on the community tab to let you know what's going on and what I'm going to be doing and um, that sort of thing. So the community tab comes in really handy because if there's a day that I can't shoot a video, I can shoot you a message on the community tab and you can still keep up with what I'm doing. So for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I do believe today I'm at 545 subscribers. I could not be more thrilled. You have no idea how that makes me feel. I'm so thankful to everybody who is still, shall I say, supporting my channel. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it, you guys, because there's nothing really easy. You know, people say, oh, starting a YouTube channel is very easy. Yeah, starting the channel is easy. You just turn the machine on or turn your camera on and start a video. But what they don't tell you is it, it takes time to build up a following. And I suppose that's with any social media platform. You know, it just takes time to build up a following. So um, I prefer to put more into my YouTube channel than my Instagram account. I do still do Instagram, but I don't know, you guys. I don't know how to feel about Instagram anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Ingrid Charade. I'm on Instagram. But my baby is YouTube, and you're going to see most of what I do on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. So, anyway, um, just to show you guys a couple of little things I've been doing. Um, these are some little projects that I've been making for some of my new projects. Um, another Michael Kors Lollipop, and I did this one in a hot pink glitter. I thought that was really, really cute. Um, some gummy bears. I did uh, one in a green, and I did one in a light green and I did one in a blue and I did one in a like a sugary pink so I'm loving playing with my little my candy molds and stuff and they make awesome gifts you guys and they're they're a lot of fun I also did a couple of these uh, gummy bears and I put some stuff on the inside of the gummy bear before I covered it I don't know if you can see that before I covered it with the hot glue but because the hot glue is kind of cloudy it's hard to see i feel like if the hot glue was clear you would be able to see the color that i put on the inside but because it's it's this one's kind of pink you can kind of see a little bit but yeah so if i could find some really clear hot glue that probably this one's kind of blue that would um probably look better and then this one's kind of well, she's yellow on little yellow glitter on that side and then that side so I just been having fun playing with my my candy molds. Um, I think I showed them to you. I showed them to you um, when I got them. Like this is the gummy bear mold, um, and I got them from Michaels. Michaels. Michaels and Hobby Lobby is where I've been getting all my my molds and stuff for my projects. So, but that's what I've been doing. Also, um, with the straws. So I call myself. <laughs> I call myself. I made a card and the card I made the card with straws on the front now my intention for this card because of course it's not finished but I will probably make a really pretty bow to go right here or some little bows and then it's blank on the inside so I can write whatever I want on the inside and then I may do something on the back I don't know but I just wanted to kind of experiment with these straws since I had so many of them I wanted to experiment with them and I thought oh well, let's see how that looks so I made a little card just hang out around to finish it. And let me tell you guys something with me and projects. I get bored easily of doing one project for too long. Hence the reason I'm still doing this diamond art stuff. I still need to finish that. But um, I get bored easily. So when I get bored of one project, I'll just automatically shoot into another project and then go back and finish my other project later. That way I kind of have a variety of different things going on. And I don't feel like, oh, I'm so tired of doing this one project, you know. So, that's that's that. So, I got several stuff, st several things going on. And let me see if I can show you. Um, so, I've been getting into um, 
glittering, putting glitter inside of laminate paper. I was like, what is this? Laminating paper. I've been putting glitter in and I'm going to make different projects with this. I can use my craft machines to cut out certain things for me after I've already put the glitter inside the laminating paper. So you can make different things like hearts, bows, just all kinds of stuff. So this one is a, is actually a five by seven. And then I actually am making some um, larger ones. And this is a, this is a larger one, if you can see it. And this one has like white and iridescent glitter in it. And you know, you can just make so many different projects with that. So I've been getting into that. I've been doing some of that. So, you know, and being able to do all of my little crafting has really helped me not to focus on my neck pain and my back pain. And speaking of that, please keep me in your prayers. I do have up and coming doctor's appointments in a couple of months um, for my neck and my back and my headaches. I, I have a couple of appointments coming up. Um, and I also am going to be starting some physical therapy. So keep that in your prayers, please. Um, because at this point, all I can do is just try to still live my life, but with the pain. Because the pain isn't going anywhere. It's just some days it's more tolerable than others, if that makes sense. Also, I've been keeping up with my planner. Have you guys been keeping up with your planners? I see Justine is keeping up with her planner. I saw a couple of her videos um, a couple of days ago where she was putting her stickers in. It is so much fun, you guys, doing your planner and putting your, your colorful stickers in, writing in on the dates and times and stuff, what you need to do. To me, well, for me, it keeps me focused and it keeps me organized and I absolutely love it. And sometimes I will even make my own stickers on my machines in here and personalize them with my name on them or something like that and say, Inger's workout day and the time and stuff like that. I, I love doing my planner. So if you guys have not joined the planner world, try it. It's a lot of fun and um, it, it definitely keeps you organized. It definitely does. So um, also I got a new refrigerator and a new dishwasher a couple of weeks ago. So I will be bringing you a refrigerator organization video. I just haven't got around to it yet, <laughs> but I'm going to do that for you. I love an organized refrigerator, you guys. My mom thinks I'm nuts, but I love for everything to be lined up and in its place. Love it. So the next time I get ready to clean out my refrigerator, I definitely will be bringing you a refriger refrigerator organization video because a lot of times you just don't think about it until you see somebody else do it. And then you say, well, you know what? That is, I really like that. You know, you guys already know for me, everything is visual. You know, if it's pleasing to the eye, yes. So um, I will be doing that video for you. Um, and what else do I want to talk to you guys about? You guys know that tonight Married at First Sight is coming on, so I definitely will not be doing a long video <laughs> because uh, they're getting married. I think we have two couples left to get married tonight. So these were the weddings. The last two, the last two episodes were the weddings, and then after they get married, everybody will go on their honeymoons and stuff starting next week. So this is season 15, you guys. If you haven't caught on yet, this is season 15 now's the time to start watching it because it's in the very beginning stages um and i don't know you guys not a lot's been going on um this week um <coughs> i kind of been feeling a little depressed i don't know sometimes when i don't feel well you know and my headaches and stuff take over sometimes it gets me a little down i feel a little defeated um sometimes i feel like i'm not getting enough subscribers on my youtube channel and i feel like i'm doing everything that i know to do and let me tell you guys um so i think i told you in one of the community posts that i had ordered two vlogging cameras um i actually had ordered a little action camera for when i'm out and about and it's really really tiny and i was trying to get one in 4k that would you know i wouldn't so that i wouldn't have to always use my telephone and I also had got a regular little vlogging, compact vlogging camera. Now for me, you guys, I can't hold heavy, bulky cameras. And I can't carry them on the on my back with the, the shoulder straps and stuff. It, I can't do it with my back problems. And just holding heavy things. I'm not supposed to hold anything really, really heavy. And I'm not supposed to lift anything really, really heavy. And to be honest, I don't want to walk around with a big bulky camera. But I ordered two cameras from Amazon, you guys. 
One is still lost, and I had to report that today, and they just had to put the money back on my credit card. And the other one, when it came, it was so incredibly flimsy and cheap, and the quality of video was horrific. And I said, I have an iPhone, an iPhone 12 to be exact, and my iPhone takes better video and better pictures than this camera. So I politely boxed it back up and sent it back and asked for a refund. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do with these videos is this. I think when I get further along in my YouTube career, I may invest in a camera. Until then, I feel like these phone cameras are just as good, especially with iPhones. You know, I love the cameras on the iPhones. When I go back and I look at my content on my large television, I have a, a 4K television, so it looks great. So I'm thinking to myself, why shake the box up, you know? So I'm going to continue with my iPhone. I am getting ready to get a new iPad mini. Um, and I'm not really sure about the video, how the videos look on the iPad mini or, you know, making videos on the iPad mini. So I will check that out. But I'm going to stick with my iPhone, um, you know. And I do believe iPhone 14 is around the corner. <laughs> and it is time for me to upgrade. So I'll just get a new phone one time. But these cameras on these phones are magnificent. And I, I just feel like, you know, I don't need to invest in a camera right now and especially since I tried and it just didn't work out and I feel like that that in itself is a sign so I'm gonna leave the camera thing alone for a while you guys comment below and let me know what you think I mean when you look at my videos let me know do you think that the quality looks good because like I said when I look at it on my television it looks great you know and I'm if somebody didn't tell me that I I was filming with a with a telephone I would just assume they were using a camera you know if it was me looking at me someplace else so I think I think I'm gonna leave it alone for a while um and like I said I might try my iPad and see how that works out for me but um so I'm not gonna do the Amazon haul you guys I was gonna do a haul with you guys and show you these cameras and they never came and the one that did to me was just too cheap to even even show you so, and I would have simply just been showing it to you and then showing you the taped up box where I was about to send it back. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with the phone for a while. Um, and my next phone, I will get 256 uh, gigs and that might help me with the storage issues because, you know, that's the problem with having a um, 60, when you only have 64. Um, so, but anyway... That's what's going on right now, doing a lot of crafting, trying to stay healthy, trying to work on my headache situation and my neck and stuff, and just trying to stay positive throughout everything, you know. A positive attitude and a positive way of thinking gets me a lot further than when I'm down on myself or I'm depressed or I feel like things are just not going the way I want them to go or as fast as I want them to go. And that's another thing that I really wanted to touch on, you guys. Sometimes in life, we see other people that are pretty much doing the same things that we're doing. But they're moving at a rapid pace, you know. They're, they're getting everything at a rapid pace and things just seem to be going faster for them. And sometimes I feel that way because... I am in a position to where I don't feel well a lot of the time. And so a lot of the days get away from me because of that. And I try my best to take advantage of days that I feel really well. But I don't know, sometimes I just get down because I feel like things are just not moving fast enough for me. But um, I guess it's all in God's hands and it's all in God's time. And that's the way we all have to look at things things are going to happen for different people at different times and you know I'm good with that you know I'm, I'm good with that so try not to be down on yourself or beat yourself up or feel lonely if something is not going as fast as you wanted to go I heard Justine the other day and she was talking about how she had um, more videos than subscribers or and she was upset about it she was like how am I still at I think she said 54,000 or something like that and I was like girl 
I would love to be at 54,000 subscribers, but we all had to start someplace and you know, she's worked hard to get where she is. I've worked hard to get where I am so far, you know, and then there'll be somebody behind me working to get someplace. You know what I'm saying? That's it's it's everybody has to work at their own pace and everybody will get where they need to get in due time. And um I love Justine, so I know she'll get to a hundred a hundred thousand in no time, you know. Um and also shout out to Aaliyah from Aaliyah's face. I would just like to say I am so proud of Aaliyah. She has worked her way up and she has made a beautiful life for herself. And I've been watching Aaliyah for a very long time. And, you know, I was watching her back when she was in college and she was doing the vlogs. And she has really worked her way up. And I'm, as a woman, I'm just so proud of her. I, she has done it, okay? Um, and she was on here explaining on one of her YouTube videos the other day that... Um, you know, she worked hard to get where she is with the social media platform, you know, and it, it wasn't always easy. And, you know, sometimes when we look at people like Aaliyah, we think, wow, this looks so easy. But I know she worked hard, you know, and it didn't just fall in her lap. And there was a time when she had to work other jobs, then come home and do YouTube, you know, because the rent still had to be paid. So I can appreciate the fact that she is in a very good place in her life right now. And she worked hard to get there. So kudos to Aaliyah. I'm very proud of her and I love her. I love watching all of her stuff. So I'm, I'm proud of her. I wish her much more success and I am striving <laughs> to get a channel just for my channel to be a little successful. You know, hers is very successful, but she's an inspiration. So, um, and Justine's channel is an inspiration for me too. I love them both. I think both ladies work very hard. There are a lot of very good content creators out here. Um, and the ones that strike me are the ones that keep it real, keep it honest. You know, I, I love that, you know don't have to pretend to be somebody that you're not and that's one thing that that i try to do on my channel i try to always be honest with you guys keep it real let you know what's really going on with me you know and um i just feel like that helps you to know a person really know a person when they're you know really honest with you about life and things that are going on and you know don't make it like a fairy tale you know just just make it real you know i think just keeping it real is the best way to go all right you guys well that is gonna do it for today's chit chat y'all know i had to come on here and see y'all because it had been a while since i did a face to face and i don't like going too long without coming on here and chit chatting a little bit with you um if you guys have anything special that you want to talk about in the next chit chat comment below let me know um if you guys watch love uh love married at first sight comment below and let me know what you think of it and we can chit chat up about we can chit chat it up about that all day because y'all know that's one of my favorite favorite uh shows on tv um if you guys are getting into any crafting projects let's talk about that um and i will be back with some more content for you guys this week if there's something special that you would like for me to do a video on let me know let me know shoot me some ideas you can either contact me on my um my my email account or you can comment below on this video and let me know shoot me some ideas let me know some stuff um and i will work on some some things for you but uh i'm gonna get ready to go you guys and um get ready for my show and i am gonna talk with you guys in the next video y'all know what to do because i tell you guys in every single video and i'm gonna get it printed out on some t-shirts very soon <laughs> but you guys eat your vegetables take your vitamins drink your water and stay healthy because health is one of the most important things today we've got to stay healthy for each other neighbors friends family kids pets everybody we need to stay healthy you guys all right i love you guys and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye